Oh, well, it's really the Florida Keys that will be impacted and the Florida Straits tomorrow. Uh, but a major track shift with Tropical Storm Marco. We have two tropical storms, both expected to be hurricanes and both expected to make landfall somewhere along the Louisiana coast. There's Tropical Storm Marco on the left to the right, Tropical Storm Laura. Here's Marco. Marco right now, 185 miles northwest of Cuba, already moved through Cuba, now in the Gulf of Mexico. Strengthening is expected, expected to become a hurricane hurricane today and to make landfall tomorrow somewhere along the Louisiana coast. There are hurricane warnings for the Louisiana coast, tropical storm warnings for New Orleans, maybe three to five inches of rain for New Orleans with Marco. Also, we have Laura, tropical storm Laura, now 45 mile per hour winds right now over Hispaniola, dumping heavy rain, brought five and a half inches of rain to Puerto Rico. Then you can see as we head into tomorrow, moving over Cuba, then the Florida Straits tomorrow, then into the warm 88 degree Gulf of Mexico, which is a lot of fuel. And then expected to make landfall along the Louisiana coast, possibly as a category two hurricane late on Wednesday and into early Thursday and then track north and east. And that may bring us some clouds or some residual showers, but really not super impactful. But boy, will it be impactful for Louisiana? So double trouble and unexpected scenario. Two hurricanes are making landfall within two days along the Louisiana coast. So certainly we have to keep an eye on this. Look at this, where this could go from Lake Charles, Louisiana to New Orleans, even the western panhandle and Mobile. If you have interest down there, this certainly tropical storm Laura will be impactful for that area as well. In terms of the next seven days, in terms of the rain, you see where the purple colors are. That's where the heaviest rain will be tomorrow and also on Wednesday for those two hurricanes, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Western Florida Panhandle as well. For us here in Atlanta, just because of the storms and the afternoon showers and storms, no day is a washout. We could pick up maybe an inch of rain. Northwest Georgia, perhaps a little bit more than that within the next seven days. But right now, overcast skies, 72 in Atlanta, feeling like 72. Dew points are high though, about 68, 69 degrees. Temperatures around the region commensurate Look how similar they are. It is 70 in Lawrenceville, 73 right now in Rome. Satellite and radar composite, some breaks in the clouds, and we will see that again, similar to yesterday. Certainly a pleasant day, a mild day, but we do have some rain in northwest Georgia. You can see around Rome, Floyd County moving north and east, Bartow, Gordon County. Some showers moving through this morning. We will see some breaks in the clouds through the day. 81 at noon, so filtered sunshine. But of course, scattered showers and storms possibly. And any one of these showers or storms could have some heavy rain dumping with it. And then through the night tonight again, especially this evening, right over the metro area. Be mindful for that. We could see some showers then. So for today, the average high is 88. So certainly cooler than that. Similar to yesterday, 85 in Atlanta. And the next seven days, temperatures stay below average. Average. Tomorrow, 83, 40% chance for some scattered showers each and every day. And it's those afternoon and evening showers that we could see erupting. But it will hold temperatures down. Temperatures certainly not as hot as they have been. So no washout of a day as well. But impactful potentially Thursday and Friday with a little bit of that lower moisture bringing us more cloud cover. Haley?